but a little scary out in the water because we got giant waves today, second day of competition. New heat in the water. Leonardo Fioravanti up against Jacob Wilcox. As well, coming from Western Australia, just really probably feeling maybe a bit comfortable in these bigger waves. As we look, this happened. This is a replay. Jacob's opening ride. And just that one turn there. He's looking just, he's just going to make take this one through. Right to that inside, probably utilize that jet ski to get back out. He looks like he's ready to go. This is his opening wave here. Smaller sort of wave, goes to that carving maneuver here. Gets another carve. Just really lays that board on rail. So nice opener for Leo, but this is Leo. And this one right here was a beautiful looking wave. Snaps it up, draws that turn a little bit short there. Then straight back up into the lip, sending that spray flying in the air. So two really well-timed turns there. Western Australia's Jacob Wilcox on the backhand. Snap stall there, riding the foam ball into the foam pit and gets gobbled up. Wow, that was pretty difficult for Jacob. Sort of looked like he faded a little bit too much there and then lost all his speed. He had to airdrop in Leo here. Um, first time we're seeing this wave, so let's see what he delivers to us. Yeah, it's got a little redirect on the open face. How about that connection? And we see Jacob, a lot of waves ridden. Yeah, so judges catching up to all these waves along with us as well. Wilcox riding a 6-6 today. 11 minutes on the clock in the priority heat. Leo Firavanti and Jacob Wilcox. I saw uh, Wilcox preparing a lot of boards. We'll stick with this now on the back end. Big wind up and the Australian connects. Nice flow off the bottom. Great tag there for Jacob. Lip on his heels. That'll end that ride. But great connection on the backhand whip from Jacob Wilcox. Friend, as you see right here, nice clean wave, like medium size, still pretty tall. Um, right there, just first turn, a big crack in this one, even a little bit more possess in it. Just really pushing that back foot, bringing the board all the way around. And yeah, that was, that was a beautiful wave from him right there. And he's... He's going to be stoked with that score. Solid way to approach that lip. And he said, noticing that there's still a lot of north in the swell, he said he didn't have to ride a giant board. And 6.6 six is what he rode yesterday as well. Yeah, what well, that does, Joe, when it's more northy, um, that, was, that was a critical turn. That wave is going to be very healthy score. He's going to be looking. See, that's what I was talking about. Just always on rail. He's such a good surfer. Um, so technical. And right there, just pushing even a little bit more was a kid that was in the spotlight a lot so he got a lot of chances to surf actually surf um work tour events so that gives you a bit of experience and he's up and riding again wilcox throwing his first turn away with three to go and jesse wasn't this a pro junior final that day now they're going right as we see a front side wrap there from Piravanti. nice clean power turn but he's chasing a 591 but as you see right here, check this out, right there, just extending, like keeping his board away from him. That's very hard to do, it takes a lot of strain, uh, mostly in a powerful wave like Sense it is. And I always love your insight, Jesse, because sometimes we get to meet these surfers on land, we see them in free surf situations. People talk about the intimidation factor of battling with Medinas. We'll get back to this up and out. But what is the energy like? How does it shift? for that big number in the Exxon range, 13.4 total. And he'll be into the round of 16. 